Okay, my, my name is Brian Falk. Uh, first off, apologies. I uh, lost my voice on Friday. But welcome to the AAPG SCPM Student Reception, sponsored by ExxonMobil, uh, for which we are very grateful. I just wanted to, uh, to get started um, by saying a few words to all the students in the room about what this evening is all about and, and hopefully what we'll go through in the next 30, 40 minutes here. Tonight is about honoring our legacy, thanking our generous sponsors for supporting our ambitions and endeavors, and celebrating your achievements. And tonight we hope to do that with the best student chapter awards, uh, the best YouTube video awards, and a recap of the student chapter poster and oral presentation awards, and then a few words from our sponsors. So just a few words about student chapters and, and our achievements in, in the last seven years. Uh, as you can see in, in these charts, we've more than doubled both our student chapters and our student chapter membership since 2007. And as such, uh, we have been um, graciously honored with an increase uh, in funding, and, and hopefully we will start to disseminate those funds uh, through avenues that, that we feel uh, demonstrate what we want out of our student chapters. And what AAPG, both the foundation and association, would really appreciate from the students is a focused effort uh, to retain membership. By retaining membership, um, I think that you would definitely make our jobs easier in continuing to provide you with the resources you need, both to have an enriching student experience um, and to, pr to provide the industry with the skills we're going to need here in the future. So the Student Chapters Committee organization, uh, we have two former student chapter chairs with us, and Bill Houston and Richard Ball, uh, has changed quite a bit since 2011 when Richard Ball reorganized the Student Chapter Committee around local liaisons, and we'll review who your regional and section liaisons are uh, very shortly. If you have any questions about the resources that are available to you, um, please feel free to contact myself, my executive committee, or the local liaisons. So before we go any further, uh, I wanted to say a few words here about, about a very important man. His name is James Hartman, and um, unfortunately he, he's in the hospital, I believe this evening, and he was hospitalized last week. James Hartman is um, a, a great man who's given a lot. The, the one thing I think of when I think about James Hartman is uh, for donating a time, Chevron gives a check to, to a fund of your choice, so I donated to my committee, self-servingly. And in return, James Hartman, um, who has accomplished a great deal, sent me a, a handwritten note uh, from his home in, in Wyoming uh, with a fly fisherman on it and thanking me for, for the gift that I had given. And I think for someone of, of Jim's age and status and prestige, to take the time to write a handwritten note for what was uh, a pretty meager gift just shows you what kind of man he was. So with that, uh, the gentleman whom we call the father of student chapters, Mr. Jim Hartman, uh, has fallen ill. Jim started, started the student chapters along with a few select others and has generously supported them throughout the years, but no more so than with his LSCLS trust or the local student chapter leadership summit trust. The brief time we shared together in Long Beach when we honored him with the most deserved achievement award means all the more to myself, my committee, and hopefully to you all in the audience tonight. I hope you are inspired by his graciousness, humility, achievement, and generosity. I hope all of you will strive to honor his memory with your efforts and uh, future ambitions. So I was going to do a, a moment of silence in, in honor of Jim. But uh, Bill Houston had the great idea the other evening to have a, a, a loud applause in honor of him. And if, if the photographer could come up to the stage and take a few pictures from the, the podium of everyone giving a cheer for Mr. Hartman, I would greatly appreciate it. So wherever Mr. Hartman is, hopefully he can hear us.
So I wouldn't be here tonight uh, without a few people, uh, most notably my executive committee, Vivian Lin, Emily Fisher, Earl Wells, and Miriam Griffey, who graciously helped organize this reception. Um, I'd also like to thank Chevron for allowing me the freedom and autonomy to, to fulfill this role to the fullest of my capabilities. And I'd also like to recognize both Bill Houston and Richard Ball for, for laying a strong foundation. And I'll just finish with, with a couple words here. Um, so I was in your seats four years ago. I graduated in 2010, and I, I remember what it was like sitting out there. So I, I could say a few words about the big crew change and everything that you need to do to help, help industry. But instead, I'll just ask you to, to imagine where, where you will be in four years. Um, hopefully, your, your family is doing well and you're gainfully employed and contributing positively to our science, our industry, and improving the quality of life. Most importantly, though, I have one wish for you, and that's to keep in mind that anything is possible and that you can achieve anything. I hope you're humbled both by the support, generosity, and resources at your disposal the same way I've been, and I wish you all uh, nothing but the best. Uh, with that, I would like to welcome Earl Wells to the stage, and he's going to say a few words on behalf of uh, ExxonMobil. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll keep this brief since everybody's got other commitments. We're kind of running a little bit behind schedule. So, um, yeah, it's my, my name is Earl Wells. I'm the uh, AAPG student chapter secretary. I'm also an exploration geologist with ExxonMobil. Um, so I would like, on behalf of the student chapter committee, I'd like to thank uh, uh, ExxonMobil for very generously sponsoring this, as they have for over 20 years. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, Chevron, uh, and in particular, I'd like to have a big round of applause for Mr. Steve Shirley for all of their continued support at Chevron for our student chef programs. So ExxonMobil has, uh, this thing is incredibly short. Maybe I'm just tall. So ExxonMobil has uh, been a sponsor, a uh, very generous sponsor of Student Chapter Committee for a very long time. They've been sponsoring this particular event for over 20 years. We run short courses around the world. We've been bringing in uh, world-class sequence stratigraphers and teaching uh, undergraduates and graduates sequence stratigraphy uh, for over 20 years every year at ACE. Um, and kind of the architect behind all of this is uh, Mr. Bob Stewart, who is worked for ExxonMobil for 33 years, a uh, proven oil finder. He's taught thousands of students, hundreds of students every year, uh, world-class stratigrapher, okay fly fisherman, <laughs> and a friend to, uh, to students. So at this time, I'd like to invite Mr. Bob Stewart from ExxonMobil to the stage. Welcome, everyone. Um, I think I'm going to tell you guys a story tonight. I, I <clears throat> typically kind of try to keep this really short, but after that great dinner, uh, uh, and, um, what's that? Introduction. Introduction. <laughs> um, I think I'll maybe uh, uh, hang out here a little while with you. So um, about 15 years ago, I had some people tell me that I needed to read a book uh, called The Map That Changed the World. And I didn't read it and didn't read it, but I, it always kinda, I always kind of thought about, you know, it was an intriguing concept, a map that changed the world. You know, as a, as a sequence stratigrapher at ExxonMobil, I, I was happy if I uh, got a structural geologist to believe my correlations, uh, let alone think about creating some kind of a map that changed the world. So this, uh, this book written by uh, uh, Simon Winchester is the story of, of William Smith, nicknamed Stratus Smith. And he literally created a map that changed the world. And I suggest every one of you in here that are thinking about going into uh, the petroleum industry should read that map. The map he made was the geologic map of the UK. 
which uh, didn't seem like any big deal to me. I mean, geologic maps are all over the place. Sir. That's nothing, right? But what it ended up doing was for the first time in the history of man, we, became to, we began to have the ability to predict what was in the subsurface. It was a critical uh, issue at that time. It was at the very beginning of the Industrial Revolution. And the world was starving for coal. They needed a resource to be the catalyst for that uh, Industrial Revolutionary, uh, Revolution period. And Strata Smith gave him, the re gave him the tool, gave him this map that allowed him to predict in the subsurface where coal would be. He's recognized as the father of modern geoscience. So if you think about it, you go back, our number one job as geoscientists is to provide resources for mankind. At that time, it was coal. Today, we're in the, oil, uh, in the era of oil. So the number one resource that we can provide for mankind is oil and gas. And that's going to be that way for a long time. So you guys that are thinking about going into this industry, you can carry with you a, a very comforting fact that you're doing something critical for your fellow man. The resource of oil is so important, it drives the world. We can't, we can't do it without it. You guys have all seen the Mad Max films, yeah? You have a tough time without oil back then, right? Or, <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> so as you think about careers, I think uh, it gives serious consideration to this petroleum geoscience career. The other thing to consider is this society that you're uh, here visiting and have at this conference, AAPG, is the global society of the resource providers. This resource of oil and gas, this, this whole society, that's what it is all about, is finding resource for our fellow man. And so as you move forward, uh, you should uh, and enter this industry, then you, you must be an active member of, of the American Association of Petroleum Geologists. This is the, the, the community that does this job for society. And then the last thing I want to mention from this book, it fascinated me as a, as a stratigrapher, is that uh, William Smith was a stratigrapher. And so the, um, the kind of pinnacle, the father of modern geoscience, was a stratigrapher. It means that stratigraphers are the gods of geoscience. And in, and in honor of that recognition, I've now proclaimed Monday evening is the National AAPG Hug a Stratigrapher Night. <laughs> and your expectation is to hug at least five stratigraphers. So as you're out networking tonight, find a, find a stratigrapher and show them the love and respect that they deserve. All right, and, th and have a wonderful evening. It's, it's our pleasure to be able to host this event, and we hope to do it for years to come. So we're, we're very blessed and honored. Earl was right, that is short. Um, we're very blessed and honored to have with us uh, the president of AAPG, Lee Krisnick, and I hope you all will... Uh, We'll take his words to the heart. Thank you. Okay, I'm not about to take very much time to do this. Never stand between a geologist and his or her beer or food. I'm not about to do that now. But I think one of the things that we can ask you guys real quick is, who can find information about geology on the net? I bet one or two people can do that. Right? I can do it with one or two swipes right here. I can get all the information I want to try and find about oil and gas right here, can I? I know you can do a better job of it. So why on earth would you bother at all being a member of AAPG? What does AAPG bring to the table? 
What's the value proposition that's involved in all of that? That's a question I think you might want to ask yourselves. I ask it every day as president of AAPG. Why, why would anybody want to bother being a member of AAPG when they can get all the wonderful information that I joined AAPG to get right with a few swipes of a finger? Hmm, good question. The answer is the community. What you're really buying into with AAPG, you can get the information off the net. You can't come into a room like this and hang out with this guy right here. <laughs> you can't go up and hug a stratigrapher with a swipe of the uh, with a swipe of the uh, a finger on the on the smart screen. So the reason we're here today is because we love geology. We love sharing the information that we share within geology. And most important, as a community, we bring strength to the science of geology by talking about it and learning with, from, and together. And that is the strength of AAPG. It's this community that we can bring together. And so not only hugging stratigraphers and structural geologists and geochemists and people who worry about petrography, et cetera, et cetera, it's all of us together as a community that bring the strength to our science. And you, you dear people, are the future of that science. And so we're so very happy to have you here, and I'll stop rambling and let you get back to your beer and your food. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Have a good evening. I did forget something else that's very important for me to say. Thank you very much to, for, to the student chapter committee for making all of this happen. You guys are awesome, right? Thank you. Thank you to everyone else. Have a good evening, Lee. So with that, uh, I'd like to welcome to the stage, we have uh, one more sponsoring address, and then we will move to the student awards. Uh, but right now, I'm very honored and privileged to invite Evan Francine from SCPM along with Don Toby as well. Thank you. Hi, everybody. And I do want to welcome you on behalf of SCPM as their president. And I could equally echo what Lee said. Uh, SCPM is an organization geared for sedimentologists. It is the largest organization with over 3,000 current members. The members come from academia, they come from industry, and uh, important for this crowd is that we have a lot of student members. And in fact, SEPM, as a community, much like AAPG, wants to foster the participation of students. And so we make it an emphasis to include students in many ways and to provide not only the sense of community but tangible benefits of being a member. Uh, we do that through a variety of ways. We do that through providing student grants. We do that through discounted uh, books, discounts for attending meetings such as this. And Coming back to the student grants, I can tell you that this year, uh, the success rate for the student grants was over 60%. So I encourage you to consider SEPM as a source as you go throughout your student careers in looking for funding to help support your research. Uh, we're blessed to have the opportunities to be able to fund a lot of that research. We also provide money for travel to meetings such as this. And we co-sponsor uh, and actually sponsor a student poster session. And we had that today and had many great posters there. And uh, we're going to have some poster awards uh, coming out of that session. And those, along with the uh, research grant winners, will be announced uh, tomorrow at our award dinner that starts at 7 o'clock at the Hyatt Regency. And I would like to invite all of you there. Uh, we'll be able to announce those winners at that. Now, the other thing that I think is really important is that we do put our money, our uh, money where our mouth is in saying we like to include students and we're student-oriented. 
We actually include students on every committee that we have, as well as on our council, our voting council, we have developed a student counselor position. And that position actually gets to have an immediate impact on the society and its directions. And with that, I think it's very appropriate to introduce our current student counselor, Don Job, and she's going to say a few more words. As Dr. Francine announced, I am the current student counselor for SEPM on their executive council. Uh, many, many things that he said tonight I want to reiterate, but first I'd like to announce the $20 prize. Hello, students, $20. Yeah, $20. That will come at the end. You have to listen to everything I say. If you weren't listening before, SEPM offers student travel grants, student research grants, many different things that students might be interested in. Uh, things such as membership benefits, you get access to JSR, Palios, and the special, special publications. We've got foundation grants, travel grants, free copies of books. If you are an SEPM member, you get free books. Yeah, exactly. At the end of your graduation, we do offer a graduation gift. Lots of different things. Some things you might want to know. Is anyone familiar with JSR paper clips? JSR the Journal, Journal of Sedimentary Research. They have a thing on the web called paper clips. It's a monthly um, summary of everything that's come out in JSR that month. Google it, you'll find it. You can also find us, our SEPM has a Twitter feed. You can find many different uh, updates on when grant proposals are due, etc. on Twitter. Okay, join SEPM. If you're unfamiliar with SEPM, it is the Society for Sedimentary Geology. If you are a tectonic person, you need to understand that sediments are what help tell you about tectonics. So, the million dollar, twenty dollar prize. If anyone, in, the first person in this room to come up here and tell me what S-E-P-M actually stand, stood for 50 years ago. It does not stand for, yeah, oh, oh, he's running, he's running. Society of Economic Paleontologists and Mineralogists. Correct. Hooray! Thank you very much, Don. Uh, with no further ado, we will get directly into the, uh, the awards ceremony. And I'm very proud uh, to welcome Sue Waters from Shell up to the stage. Okay, on behalf of Shell, it is my extreme pleasure to announce the winners of the 2014 AAPG Student Poster Session. This was an incredible year. We had 85 abstracts submitted for the session, and from those, the top 15 were selected for this juror competition. The quality of these posters today was outstanding. In recognition of the students' exceptional work, each of the students will receive a $250 travel stipend. I ask that the students that participated today in the poster session stand and wave and be recognized now. Excellent work. I would also like to recognize our seven judges who had the challenge of scoring these exceptional posters to determine our top four winners. Thank you so much, judges.
Okay, now for the winners. We will start with fourth place. The fourth place author receives $500 tonight, and their department receives a check for $250. Okay, ready? The fourth place paper is Regional Transect Across the Western Caribbean Structural Styles and Plate Reconstructions of Late Cretaceous to Cenozoic Tectonic Events. Would Carlos Sanchez of the University of Houston please come up? Okay, the third place author receives $1,000 tonight. Okay, you ready? And their department receives a check for $500. The third place paper is Structural and Gravity Transects of the Cologne Mountains, Nicaraguan Rise Orogenic Belt of Honduras and offshore Nicaragua, Jamaica, would uh, Brian Ott of the University of Houston please come forward? <laughs> Way to go, Brian. Thanks. Congratulations. Okay, moving on to second place. The second place author receives $1,500 and their university a check for $750. The second place winner is Geometry and Origin of a Giant Asymmetrical Shaped Mound Complex West of Troll Field, Northern North Sea, would Toby Olabayo, University of Manchester, please come forward. Okay, what we've all been waiting for, first place. The first place author receives $2,000 and buys the beer tonight, and their department receives $1,000. The first place paper is Integrating Outcrop and Subsurface Data for Reservoir Prediction in Fluvial Tight Gas Sand, Upper Williams Fork Formation, Grand Hawkback, Colorado. Would Brian McDowell of, Uni Col <laughs> of Colorado School of Mines please come forward? Congratulations to all our winners.
And now, um, just to quickly review the, the winners from the oral presentations last year uh, from Chevron, Ramon gonzalez Mirez. Thank you very much. So um, the judging for the 2014 is going on. So I had the opportunity to have um, three talks this uh, morning. Very interesting. I'm looking forward to see the next one uh, tomorrow and Wednesday, which is the last day. So I would like to recognize the last uh, year winners of uh, the competition. Um, I will ask them to uh, stand and wave. They are here. The fourth place. Uh, last year was Robert Heller from Stanford University. The third place um, was Courtney Kolderzar from University of Pittsburgh. The second place um, was Michael Seller from University of Miami in Florida. Um, uh, the first place um, was from uh, Stephen Hotham uh, from my, Miami University in Ohio. In fact, um, Stephen also was the winner of the George Manson Award for the best paper presented at the APG last year and the annual convention. Um, uh, that was the first time in the history of the APG where a student member won that award. So very well done. Congratulations to Stephen. And well, congratulations to all the winners. I'm looking forward to uh, uh, your talks tomorrow and uh, Wednesday. Thank you. And now we'll move on to the uh, Best Student Chapter Awards. And for that, I'd like to welcome uh, Dr. Hamal from Schlumberger up to the stage, please. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, students, honorable fac faculties, and members of the uh, industry. It's my honor to be here to represent Shamburji. Actually, my name is Abul Jamaluddin. My friends call me Jamal. After my PhD, I joined the oil operating companies, and for the last 16 years, I'm with uh, Shamburji. My current role is uh, the next oil and gas training. Um, and we are the external training arm of Schlumberger. So it's my honor to be here to announce the winners of the student uh, chapter awards. Uh, before I give out the awards, there are two categories. One is the uh, North America, and uh, the second was the international. So there are three winners for the North American Outstanding Student Chapters. I'll mention the uh, honorable mention first. There are two of them. The first honorable mention is University of Oklahoma. And the second honorable mention is Auburn University. Is there anyone from the University of Oklahoma here? No. Okay. And the outstanding uh, chapter of 2014 AAPG award goes to University of Ota, the Jazz. Anybody, anybody from Utah? University of Utah. Going once. Going twice. Ah.
So we have uh, the international award. There are three universities who get this uh, student chapter, two honorable mentions, and the outstanding uh, APG student chapter. And three student chapters are from Indonesia. They have a hat trick. So the honorable mention first is uh, Gadja Mother University. Do we have anyone from the university? No? Uh, the second honorable mention is uh, Dipongoro University, again from Indonesia. And the outstanding APG student chapter award goes to University of Pembang Gunan, National Veteran for 2014. We have a recipient. Since I am wearing a batik, I will accept the awards and confer them graciously on AAPG's postage to Indonesia. Congratulations to all our winners. Thank you. So the, the two uh, chapters who won uh, will receive a check for $1,500, and we will notify them immediately. Uh, with that, I'd like to invite APG Secretary Richard Ball up to the stage. Richard will be presenting uh, the Hartman Award. Good evening, y'all. Before we begin this next section, I'd like to ask we get the room down to as quiet as we possibly can, because this is the most prestigious award the Student Chapters Committee gives out. So if you look to your left and you see someone talking, politely push them, <laughs> just kidding, politely tap them on the shoulder and ask them to calm them down a little bit just for one brief moment, please. Thank you. So as you heard earlier, Mr. Hartman is not feeling well, and then, uh, we all we all want him to feel better soon. He is uh, a great mentor to me as well. When I was considering running for secretary, Mr. Hartman actually uh, personally called me and, and encouraged me to do just that. And to have someone who is of that level of an individual who has given so much to the association to be so involved to reach out to me meant a lot. So this is a great award and, and I, it's a great man as well. I have a short video we'll show before we announce the winner. Which one? This one. Oops. In 1974, Jim Hartman started the Student Chapters program with four chapters. That program has grown to over 300 chapters worldwide now. Each year, the Student Chapters Committee provides an award to an individual who has provided excellent service to students. This year's recipients are Two great mentors of mine, Bill Houston and Pete McKenzie. Please come to the stage. Thank you.
So we actually have a video clip of each of these individuals reading the citation to themselves, to the other one, because they weren't aware they were going to win the award. I'm not sure if we'll be able to show that or not. Kia ora and good evening. My name is Bill Houston. I'm the general manager of exploration for New Zealand Oil and Gas, addressing you from 30,000 feet over the South Island of New Zealand. It's my distinct pleasure to announce the recipient of the 2014 Jim Hartman Services Students Award, Mr. Pete McKenzie. Pete and I have traveled in AEPG circles together for many years, and I'm delighted to offer this citation in recognition of his outstanding efforts on behalf of AEPG student programs. It reads, Pete McKenzie is the archetypical volunteer, metered in approach, determined in engagement, and tenacious in spirit. He has set a very high bar for the success of present and future AEPG student champions. Pete has had an indelible mark on the grants and aid program, with seminal influence on the incredible expansion of this student offering. His dedication to the APG Foundation has furthered the success and reach of APG student-funded programs. Whether mentoring students or APG leadership, he is always working to enhance student involvement in programs. Although Pete prefers to maintain a background presence, and I know this presentation is going to make him squirm, his noteworthy accomplishments warrant recognition as an AEPG student champion. So cheers to you, Pete, on this very, very well-deserved award. Three, two, one. Bill Houston is an assiduous volunteer. He relentlessly challenges others to be creative, advance program growth, and provide professional development through mentoring. Student development is Bill's passion and demonstrated priority within the AAPG. Bill's leadership of the Student Chapters program came during a pivotal time. Bill championed a number of transformational changes that revitalized not only the committee, but also the way AAPG views student involvement within the greater AAPG. Bill's significant contributions to the AAPG and geology students worldwide warrant this recognition as an AAPG student champion. Congratulations Night. to Pete and Bill for the most well-deserved awards. And with that, I'll invite uh, Emily Fisher to the stage, the Vice Chair of Domestic Activity, to announce the winners of the YouTube videos. Hi, everyone. So I'm Emily Fisher, and I'm very happy to be able to present the YouTube Project Awards. Um, I've had the great pleasure of being involved in this project since uh, about when it started five years ago. Um, and I love it because it's a great opportunity for you guys to show off how awesome your chapter is. If you don't know about the, the YouTube awards, you should videotape everything you do and make a program and win it next year. And, and make sure that you assign an officer to do that so it happens. So without further ado, the third place winner, which comes with a check of $100, goes to the Colorado School of Mines. All right, and we're gonna play their video. This is really a big deal, guys.
Say, don't you all want to make one now? <laughs> so I'd like to announce the winner of the second place is the P U N P A D Panjar German from Indonesia. Yeah. <laughs> is establishing a professional APG members which always step ahead by providing excellent atmosphere. Provisional means we have to fulfill the value of provisionalism. Step ahead means we acknowledge the petroleum geology from basic to advanced. Excellent atmosphere is a way to enhance the teamwork chemistry between the members. We are APG Seoul Pan! And now for the first place, which comes with a thousand dollar check, is San Diego State University. Because of the way the world is developing its energy future, we simply can't mitigate it. Electricity, food, shelter, education. We have to do that with affordable energy.
That translates to your business, your workplace, your industry, your kids up and down. It translates to the way we think about energy. And we start to appreciate it for what it is, which isn't a right, it's a commodity. And it has consequences to the rest of the world. Behavioral changes are cultural. And we have to think about energy differently this century than we did last century. Thank you, everyone. You all did a great job. And remember to check out a dozen more submissions on YouTube. And who's going to make their own video next year? Good job. So just uh, a couple last uh, remarks. First, uh, before I close out the ceremony, I'd like to invite uh, Vivian Lin, Vice Chair of uh, International Chapters, uh, to review the new leadership team and also to re-announce the IBA winners from yesterday's ceremony. Thank you. Good evening. So if you've been to ACE before in previous years, and you've been coming to these student chapter receptions, uh, either to meet your friends or to get some free food, then you might have noticed that the faces up on the stage have changed a bit. And that's because in this past year, we've actually gotten a new leadership team. So I'm just here to uh, introduce you to our new executive committee of the student chapter committee. And um, make sure you say hi to, and welcome yourselves to all of them and get to know them because we're here for you to make sure that you are getting the support that you need because we want to make sure that the student chapters are building up a strong foundation because really you are all the future of this organization. So I'm going to... <laughs> yeah. So just going through our uh, executive committee really quickly, if the members could stand when I call their names. We have Earl Wells as the secretary. <laughs> we have Emily Fisher as the vice chair of domestic sections. Uh, there's myself as the vice chair of international regions. Um, and of course, we have Bryant Folk, the chair of our committee. And <laughs> in addition, we'd like to recognize uh, a few other people who have been such a great support for our executive committee, including uh, Mike Blinick, who is uh, part of the student programs at AAPG. <laughs> Brian McBroom, who also supports our services. And Spencer Rolfs, who is the special programs coordinator. <laughs> so make sure that after this reception that you come up and meet each one of us. You now know our faces. Uh, we're always open to hearing your suggestions. And as we move on for our three-year term, we hope to implement all of your recommendations and make this the best committee uh, and support all of your efforts. So in addition to talking about the uh, executive committee for the SEC, I'm also here to recognize the Imperial Barrel Award winners who had their ceremony yesterday and uh, we had announced the winners yesterday but we're going to give them their moment of fame here. So starting with the Stonely Medal, the winner is the Colorado School of Mines. The winner of the Selly Cup is the University of Oklahoma. And finally, the winner of the illustrious Imperial Barrel Award this year for 2014 is the University of Louisiana Lafayette. Woo! Every year, the IBA is a great program, and we hope that all of the schools continue to participate. And, uh, yep. 
Thank you very much, Vivian. So that concludes the uh, student chapter reception for 2014. We look forward to a, another great year and seeing you all in Denver, hopefully. Um, again, like Vivian said, please feel free to come up and see us afterwards. Please, please, please thank Mike Malinick and Vicki Bagel for helping uh, student chapters. And everyone, please be safe this evening. Have a good one.